Protein synthesis, the processes of transcription and translation. Before we go into the two processes, let's first review the nucleic acids DNA and RNA. DNA gets its name from the sugar deoxyribose. DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. And RNA gets its name from the sugar ribose, making it ribonucleic acid. DNA is double helix in structure. That means it is a two-sided ladder that is twisted, where RNA comes in a single-strand form. The building blocks for DNA are nucleotides. This is the same for RNA. On DNA, the four nitrogen bases are adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, with adenine and thymine being a complementary base pair, and guanine and cytosine being a complementary base pair. For RNA, the four nitrogen bases are adenine, uracil, guanine, and cytosine, where the complementary base pairs are adenine and uracil, and guanine and cytosine. DNA is found only in the nucleus of the cell, where RNA is found throughout the cell depending on its function at the time. The two main types of DNA and RNA, DNA is only chromosomal, found in the chromatin of the nucleus, where RNA comes in three different forms, mRNA, known as messenger RNA, tRNA, known as transfer RNA, and rRNA, known as ribosomal or reader RNA. So here we have on the left the nucleus of the cell. And in the nucleus of the cell, we have a double strand of DNA. Notice the complementary base pairings of G to C, A to T, G to C, T to A, T to A, G to C, G to C, C to G, G to C, and so on. The first thing that will happen during transcription is the DNA will be unzipped by an enzyme. As this enzyme moves down, breaking the hydrogen bonds between the complementary base pairs, the DNA strands will be separated. A second enzyme comes in to read the three base pairs. As it reads the three base pairs, the mRNA three base pair will be attached. CTC attaches to GAG. AAC will attach to UUG, where uracil takes the place of thymine on the RNA. CGC will be matched to GC. G, and CAC will pair with GUG. GAG will group to CUC, and the last set, AAA, will be grouped with UUU. The enzymes will be used again in the next steps of transcription. At this time, we now have a strand of messenger RNA. We will group these together into one common strand. And this common strand of mRNA will go outside of the nucleus and seek out a ribosome on the rough endoplasmic reticulum in the cytoplasm. Meanwhile, back in the nucleus, the complementary strands of DNA will reattach and prepare for the next time transcription is necessary. Out in the cytoplasm, the mRNA has reached the ribosome. In the ribosome, reader RNA will be involved. But the first thing that has to happen is a complementary tRNA will match up to the mRNA. Now, in this case, GAG will pair to the tRNA CUC. The three bases on mRNA are called the codon, and the three base group on the tRNA are called the anticodon. 
We use the codon to translate the message to determine the amino acids in the polypeptide sequence. So for this case, GAG will give us a reading of G A G which tells us glutamic acid is the amino acid that is being coded for. So for this case, the CUC will pair up with a glutamic acid and this grouping will pair up to the complementary codon giving us the first amino acid in the polypeptide chain. UUG, UUG codes for leucine. UUG pairs up with AAC. So the leucine will be brought by the anticodon AAC giving us the second polypeptide in the chain. GCG, GCG, codes for alanine, and GCG pairs to CGC. So the transfer RNA groups together with the correct amino acid and is brought in line codon to anticodon. GUG, GUG codes for valine. GUG pairs to CAC for the next amino acid in the polypeptide chain. While this is going on, an e the reader RNA flows along this pairing of anticodon and codon and proofreads the message making sure that it is correct. Once the message is correct, a polypeptide or a peptide bond will be used to bond together the amino acids. The next tRNA is GAG and CUC is coded for leucine, a repeat in the amino acid chain. Reader RNA checks the code, makes sure it is read properly, and a peptide bond is put in place. And the last one, UUU, -U -U, codes for phenylalanine, so the anticodon AAA brings the phenylalanine into the proper position along this chain and the reader RNA now does its job of proofreading the message and the poly and a peptide is put in place to hold the bonds. Now each of these will be bonded together by the peptide bonds. These peptide bonds, since we now have many peptide bonds in place, we have a poly, meaning many, peptide chain. And a polypeptide chain is a building block for protein. And they will be packaged and reconfigured in the Golgi body of the cell. So we put together this chain of amino acids, making a polypeptide. And this polypeptide group now travels to the Golgi body, where it will be put in place, packaged, and made into a protein. This is the process of protein synthesis.